Okay, so in this tutorial, basically what I'm going to show you guys is um, how to make an old-timey look um, to your digital film. Uh, so basically what I'm going to show you or walk you through is how to make something that looks like this. Where it's got the film tearing, it's in black and white, and then at the end you have a title card or something. <clears throat> so I've already got this kind of set up. Um, all of these files that you see here I'll put in the description so that you can follow along with it to learn it for yourself, make it a little easier for you I guess. So basically what I'm going to start by doing is taking the subscription sequence uh, movie and uh, putting it into the, uh, I don't know, composition maker. Um, and uh, this has already got this intro film-ish thing on it. But basically what I need to do first here is uh, key out the background. So uh, I guess you get a little lesson on keying too if you don't know how to do that for whatever reason. <clears throat> So, what I always do is use key light. Um, and basically, you just take this dropper here under screen color, click the background, it'll go away. As you can see, it's kind of grainy. Um, you can fix some of this by changing him to an alpha channel and you can kind of see what's going on here. There's a uh, residual junk left over after the king here. Uh, he's losing some of his pieces, pieces of his body there. Uh, what you can do to help that out is uh, adjust the screen matte settings. That'll get rid of what was there. Um, and we'll see how he looks. Generally I would spend way more time on this but because we're making it black and white and old and grainy and whatnot anyway uh, you know you don't you don't have to spend too much time on that but he looks good enough for what we're doing most of the time I'd never suggest leaving it like this you need to put a little more work into it but um, so the next step here is just to use the black and white color correction. It's pretty simple. You just get that, drop it on him, and he's black and white. Problem solved. Um, the next thing we're going to do is put the train behind him. Uh, this is pretty long. I will uh, cut this down for you guys before I put it up there probably. Uh, but this is where I want the film. If you didn't know, you can basically do in and out points in After Effects now, just like if you were in Premiere. You just double click on the uh, film, whatever you're looking at, drag it to wherever you want it to be in the timeline, set your in and your out, and uh, and then uh, just drop it in. And there you go. So, obviously we want the train to be behind him. We also want the train to be black and white. And we want to scale it up. Uh, whenever you're scaling things up, you don't want to distort it. So, uh, the best way to not distort things in After Effects, I mean, you can obviously click S and do the scale button. That's fine. That, that always works. Uh, if you're a person that doesn't really like hotkeys for whatever reason and want to use your mouse you can click here mm -hmm. and then hold shift and then pull and it'll scale up the same way without uh, distorting anything um okay so now we got it black and white we've got the train in the background that's great uh the next thing we want to do is put that kind of film tear look onto it so basically what you're going to do is uh i provided via a 
uh, free source, some film paper texture stuff. So what you're going to do is drop this on top of everything. And for a second you won't be able to see anything but the uh, old film. But what you want to do here is change this to an overlay. You want to change its mode to an overlay. And now everything is back there in the background. But as you can see, this is obviously way too bright. So what you need to do is go to your opacity settings. That's T uh, on the keyboard. It's the hotkey for opacity. And just turn down the opacity. Uh, with this, I just wait till I can see subscribe. I think that looks fine at that point. So now you've got your old film look. I don't know where this starts at. Here. Okay. That needs to go away. These two things need to come on down. And there you go. You're going to have to duplicate this texture a couple of times. I mean, if you're using my files, if you're using your own, I have no idea, obviously. Um, so, at this point, uh, I'm just going to show you how to do the title card. I did this really quick. It's really very simple to do. Basically, what I did is I just found a uh, basically free, royalty-free uh, kind of silent movie card. Uh, you can find them online. You can make them yourself and illustrate if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because that's its own lesson. But So basically you've got this title card. Uh, I wanted to say new videos every other Wednesday. I'm going to scale it up so that it fills the screen. And uh, basically I'm just going to write our every other Wednesday on here. Uh, the best font I found for this particular title card is called the Dead Saloon. I think it looks really good, but... Three other Wednesday. Okay. So we've got the Dead Saloon. Looks cool. Looks like an old Western font. I like it. And then you just scale it up. Make sure that these two layers are under your paper or your old film layers. Uh, what I just did there is cut this so that the title isn't. Um, extended across the entire timeline. All you have to do to cut things, the hotkey for that is Control Shift D or Command Shift D if you're on a Mac. And there you go. And now you've got your old timey look to your not old timey film. And that's all it takes. Uh, I hope that was helpful to someone out there. Uh, if you have any questions, just write them in the comments. I'm happy to help in any way. If there's some other video or something you want to see personally, let me know. I, you know, I generally know m most things about motion graphics, and um, currently I'm teaching myself more and more. 3D uh, CGI type stuff, so I know a lot about that as well. So if you have any ideas, uh, let me know. I'm happy to make a video about it. Thanks a bunch for watching.